That's all I'm saying. Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett joining us. Nothing scary in the forecast. Maybe a little welcome rain by the time we get toward the weekend. Is that what yeah, you're Yeah, welcome rain and thanks to the tropics going on. So not nothing scary for us, but we are going to be dealing with maybe in some areas some higher rain amounts. So we'll watch that going through the week ahead. Looking at the satellite and radar right now, big weather story here is we had tropical depression number 10 quickly then become tropical storm Imelda. Now it's already made its way on shore near Freeport and it's continuing to make its way inland. So it hasn't had a lot of time to really strengthen, but winds are sustained at 40 miles per hour. And with it, it's continuing to make its way off to the north. You can see the rain continue to spread its way in inland, and you can see already through a Lufkin area as we zoom in even more through parts of Navarro County. We've seen some rain already push its way through parts of Corsicana. So some of the cloud cover you're seeing today, mainly in south and east Texas, we are dealing uh, with. It, tropical storm of Those bands already pushing their way through. Right now, as you can see, uh, there's the Freeport area, there's Galveston. So, right along that area, there's a tropical storm warning remaining in effect as Emelda continues to push its way now north at seven miles per hour. Near the center of circulation, winds are sustained at 40 miles per hour. The center now is 30 miles west of Galveston and is continuing to make its way to the north. So, on that same forecast track, the latest information coming in shows maybe a little bit more northeastward through the remainder of the night tonight and then in it to tomorrow morning. But you notice the status goes down to a tropical depression with winds sustained near 30 miles per hour. Same story then for Wednesday into Wednesday night and then into Thursday morning, mainly into moving into East Texas, but still with. with that the potential of a lot of tropical rains and going into Thursday afternoon, then a tropical low wind sustained near about 25 miles per hour, then it will continue to rain itself out. But speaking of rain, a lot is on the way. We're going to be watching this as we go through the next couple of days through the end of the week. You can see a lot of the rain the next day or so down near the Houston area, but getting closer towards the end of the week, there is some potential that we could see some localized spots. This forecast is a little bit aggressive, this one forecast model, but you can see mainly east of 35, uh, Dale, the Henderson County area, all through Kaufman County, stretching over to uh, looks like Van Zant and Southeast, possibly 12 to maybe some localized spots near 16 inches of rain if this does come true. But the big story is that we are going to be dealing with a lot of rain from Emelda as it makes its way inland. And so our rain chances will continue to go up 40 to then 50 percent, even 60 to 70 percent towards the end of the week. Temperatures coming down into the 80s and then drying out through the weekend and then starting to warm back up next week to temps in the low 90s.